of the one in London and the one that we hope we're going to have in Peterborough. Look at them as foundation meetings that you're going to build upon. I brought uh, correspondence and documents with me, and one of them deals with that, because I tackled a situation in Peterborough that uh, was considered impossible. I got to first base with it, and uh, the first phone call was from a lawyer named Doug Galvin, who called me up and said, I saw you on cable TV last night at City Hall, and uh, you got to first base. But you seem like a nice fellow, and I, I thought I'd save you some a real heartache. You're trying to get the, the mayor to pay $2.5 million for it property she could have bought last year for 800000 and that's just about as impossible as asking her to run naked down George Street. And he says, I'm a lawyer and a former mayor, and uh, believe me, you can't possibly win. So well, thank you for thinking about me that way, but uh, really the word can't is not found in my dictionary. And just hang in there, we'll get her done for you. Then I developed a strategy towards it, and realizing that it would be a difficult project, I laid out this strategy and uh, began to have some meetings. And the first criticism in the newspaper was, this guy isn't going anywhere. There's only maybe 10 people at his meeting. And he went on to say that somebody who really wants to achieve something would get on the bus and go up to uh, Ottawa and, uh, and uh, make the point with Wilson. I'm getting my stories mixed up here, I'm sorry. But both those fit, but I did get the one mixed with the other. There's a few 